Good afternoon. What we're going to go over today is how to check the size of a fillet weld. This is one of them things that I kind of thought everybody knew when I started asking around and a lot of people didn't know. So I'm going to go over how to calculate the size of a fillet weld. And the way you do that is through this right here, a fillet gauge, all right? Fillet gauges come in a little, I guess it's a nylon packet. And you undo, undo a button and they're all bolted together. You undo the bolt and a bunch of them fall apart. I'll show you them here in a second. So what is on a fillet gauge? A fillet gauge has a weld size on it and a concave face checker, if you will. And I drew it over here, a blowing up one. And you can see I have one right here. It's for like a one inch and a three quarter inch fillet weld. But that's what it looks like right there. That's just one. And I'll zoom in on this in a second. So the fillet weld gauge of the size is right here and you put the fillet weld right in here and I'll show you a drawing of that here in a second as well. But you line this line right here up with the toe of what, one of the legs of the fillet weld. That's why it's important to know the parts of the fillet weld, all right? Because you don't know what a toe is and a leg is, you have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But I did a drawing I'll show you here in a second. The concave checker, I guess, is this right here. It's got this um, spot that comes down to a flat spot right here and if it hits the weld that's actually good that means it's either flush or concave or not concave convex if it doesn't hit that means it's concave which means it's going in a little bit and that's generally uh, undesirable trade of a fill well is to have a concave finish unless you had it something that was butting up to it or something where you didn't want it to hit the actual fill well so to further this a little bit out here. Oh, there we go. So this is a T-joint right here. This is your fillet weld right here. This is the size checking part of it that I just went over over there. And I got half inch there. I don't know what it really is. It's just a drawing. But you can see this line lines up with the toe right here, which means the leg size right here. So that would be one half of an inch to here to here. That's a one half inch leg. That's how you determine if a fill weld is a half of an inch. You line this line up with the toe, and that tells you the leg is half of an inch. All right. Uh, this hidden line right here is just the penetration, if you're wondering what that is. So that's our first T joint over here, checking the size. Now, the actual concave, you can see over here, same thing, T joint. There's your penetration, and it's concave, it's sagging in, right? half inch again and you can see that this flat spot here isn't even close to that right that means you have a concave weld usually that's undesirable depending on the application everything's got its place but uh, and then you can also check the size too with this line here and this line here and if you look the toe doesn't quite get there that yeah, kind of does there what I tried to make so we're gonna pretend like it didn't get there and it would tell you that the leg size isn't big enough as well now if you wanted to do um, two leg sizes right here See how this one's short and that one's longer? That's an unequal leg size. Sometimes they want you to check that. You would just take this fillet gauge, spin it around so this part would come down here and then you check that leg and you would see that it's well over half of an inch. So what we'll do now is I'll show you what a fillet gauge set looks like and then I have a weld that I did on a robot so it should be pretty good as far as equal leg size and we will uh, check the leg size on a real fillet weld. All right, so here we are. This is what they look like. They come in this little baggie usually. I don't think I've ever seen them up a little baggie. Then you undo this little bolt and nut, I guess you can call it. And it, there's all the gauges for all the different sizes. So I'll do a close-up on what one looks like, and then we'll do our measurement. All right, this is a close-up of the one I was holding when I was up at the board, and you can see there's the line for a one-inch fillet weld. That's a big weld. There's your concavity checker there, three-quarters of an inch. Leg size would be that line and that line. All right, let's take a look at the T-joint we did. Okay, so this is a T-joint we did a fillet weld on on a robot. You can see leg size one, leg size two. Looks pretty good, except for that spatter. I don't know what the heck we had going on there, maybe a bad angle or something, but... Now we'll set it up and uh, I'll show you how to measure. Okay, so we got this fillet gauge on there and you can see I'm at 7 16 
and it looks like it's just a little bit bigger than a toe so we're going to pull that out and you got to kind of look right down the length of the weld come in perpendicular and this line right there should line up with the toe down here and if you go straight up it looks like it's a little bit bigger than that so it's just under 7 16 so what we'll do now is grab a smaller fillet gauge and see if it lines up all right we're back and I know it's tough to see on the camera let me pull this back you can see there's the toe and 3 8 lines up almost perfectly with it it doesn't look as good in the camera as it is with my bare eye but so you got a 3 8 leg size there so what you want to do now or what we're going to do is check the convexity of it so we're going to spin it around to up here to this one right here and we're going to check the convexity which it looks like it's pretty convex so I think it'll be alright but let's zoom in alright so we had to spin it and you can see it hits the face of the weld so it has convexity and the lines for the leg size actually line up pretty good and I know it's tough to see on the camera but you hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to use a fillet gauge and that's all you have to do in order to find the leg size of a fillet weld and the convexity so hopefully you have an idea of how to figure out the leg size of a fillet weld and the convexity of it and what a fillet gauge is Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we're going to get out of here.